Hey everybody, it's Scott of Simcoe Spring Service and today a customer dropped off some springs and because the bolts were frozen and seized up inside the bushings, he ended up cutting the head off the bolt and he ended up cutting the nut off the bolt. So basically there's literally just a bushing with a stuck nub of a bolt in there. So if you want, I have another video that I show you exactly the, the heating and air chiseling technique that I use for getting out bolts that still have the head on them and you can actually see that video right here, I'll pin that for you. Um, but this is a completely different beast altogether. Uh, this is tricky because you cannot put any kind of heat on here because the second you put heat on it's going to make the bushing catch on fire. So it has to be done completely cold. So I want to show you the technique that I use. So first I'm going to use an air chisel on it because I want you to see that first of all it is seized in there and it's not just me faking it. Uh, second of all, um, the air chisel has a problem because every time you hit on it with the air chisel the rubber literally just absorbs all of your impact so you're losing like 80 to 90 percent of the effort that you're putting in there and i'm going to use a high-end air chisel because i'm going to show to you that they are frozen right in there they are seized right up so yeah so i'm going to hit it with the air chisel show you that it's all seized up and then we'll show you the technique that i use to get the actual nubs of the bolts out of the bushings so we'll hit this and we'll see if we can get it to move Well, so much for that video. <laughs> that worked really, really well. So I got one more spring I'm going to show it on, and uh, hopefully that one's a little bit more seized up. So usually that trick doesn't work, but I did use a pointy air chisel bit, and apparently it works really well for getting these bushings out. But uh, we'll try it again, and hopefully it's seized up enough I can show you my other tri trick. Now. Okay, it started moving, but now I can't get it to move anymore. So hopefully my other trick will work and we can show you exactly how we get these things out. So if you can see here, you can see a tiny little bit of the bolt nub sticking out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a 5 8 nut and we're going to stick it right over top of that like that. We'll get that rested right on there. And people wonder why I have an anvil. This is one of the reasons. Super handy. So I'm gonna just drive it out with a hammer and a punch. All right, lift her up. And there's your nubbier bolt. So now what you can do He's going to slide it up over here and we'll just drive it out the little hole there, the pritcher hole. There you go that's kind of a cool little trick so if you don't have an air chisel and a big clamp that you can clamp the spring in and you have a buddy and a chunk of steel you can drive them out this way so there you go guys kind of a cool little trick to get that little nub of a bolt out of your bushing and all i needed was a nut and a hammer and a punch so uh, basically as basic tools as you could possibly get so yeah if you're uh if you're stuck this can get you out of a bind and you can save your bushings. On this particular vehicle, we're going to put new bushings anyways because they're cut up with a grinder. Um, so if you want to stick around, I'll just show you how we do those too. And uh, there'll be a little bonus feature for you. All right, take care and I'll catch you next time.
the middle sleeve out first.